end of the uh before the end of Regency Council or right around that time because it'd be nice to have a really large army just to run around the world with. We'll see. We'll see if my dreams will come true or not. I mean, it's sizable. Now it's up to 37,000. Nice, it'll have 20,000, 12,000, and 8,000, which I consider pretty good. May not be what people, everybody else makes their armies up with, but I figure I like a lot of men so I can um, just run over these territories as fast as possible in, in a war. Um, and I like having the cav and um, cannon combination because they take out other armies really quick. So, I mean, yeah, they might be slow. I really don't give a shit. Uh, but they're really strong armies, because especially with the amount of men. So please, 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 please. Stupid people trying to get revolts in my country. National manpower modifier, production efficiency, land forces limit, um, I'll take this, national revolt risk minus, that'll help me for right now. Um, so if you look here, my revolt risk is crazy, but now it's a little better because of that. And especially when I declare war, it's going to go be crazy again, so... I don't know what I want to do with this large army yet. Our 41,000 man army. <laughs> I overcalculated or something, whatever. Um, 30, 361 out of um, 367. Not bad, I'd say. Oh well, let's wait for my stupid Regency Council to end. Why is Great Britain doing this? I really have no idea. Maybe I've embargoed them or something? I don't really know. I don't really care. Um, uh, only happiness among the clergy. I don't have a choice on that. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how she goes. And that is a lot of pirate ships. You have more stability! And no guy to go ruin it with. Danzig. Or Danzig, whatever. Nothing. Venice. Venice wants their independence back. Nah. Sorry, Venice. You're fucked. Die. See? That was the end of that little rebellion. Uh, <clears throat> episode 3 of this little set. I still don't have it. Ah, this is what I was waiting for. Quality. Uh, I lost stability for it. But I have better armies now. Just because I made it into a higher quality army. And if you notice, I lost a little bit of manpower. Which I really don't care too much about. It's... <clears throat> it'll drop off until I get to 310. And see, Great Britain's doing that weird shit. I don't, yeah, I don't get it. But I also now control a lot of the centers of trade of Europe right now. Uh, if you go to trade map, I control this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Um, you know what, Great Britain? Where is 
is it? Issue embargo. Now they can't trade in my ports. And they have to trade through weird places. But hey. Oh well. <laughs> Soon once they get all these ports, they won't be able to trade like anywhere. Oh yeah, I also control this one, which is like right here. Um, so I'm doing well when it comes to the trade ports and everything. Uh, Sicily trades through Siena. <laughs> the Papal State. Uh, why do I still have no fucking ruler? after seven years of this bullshit. But now, oh yeah, I wanted to check something. Now that I think about it. Uh, first is do this. And build a bunch of these forts. I should be able to make quite a bit of them, if not all of them. Mm, eh, screw it, why not. Um, but what I did wanted to wanted to uh, what I did want to see was national statistics, right? Um. All right. Previous. No, that's colonies. Okay. <laughs> core versus non-core. That's an okay rate relationship. Uh, half. I'm like a quarter Austrian. That's awesome. Um. I'm about, my main religion is reformed, which I, I consider a better religion for the fact of its bonuses. Catholic sucks and um, stuff, but I don't know. Well, reformed and Protestant I always think are better, but um, whatever. Where's my religious map mode? See? Reformed, the, oh, this area is reformed. Um, <laughs> Reformed areas, uh, state religion is Protestant. Spain, that's like weird, really weird if you think about it. But I'm waiting for more missionaries, which I should get another one, and I'll convert um, Gascon. Hopefully, I get my goddamn ruler soon. Because I'm sitting here bored, ready for a war, and I can't go to war. I consider that not fair at all. <sighs> Rulers reign until death, blah blah blah. <laughs> Twelve years ahead of its time. What did I get here? Oh, I conquered some of these, nice. That's just like free shit. Um. <laughs> production, holy shit. Lots of production. Lots of government. Um, government, anyway. My balance is negative? Oh god, that's not good. Let's fix that. It's not like it's changing much in general. Because <laughs> I have so many countries now, or so many places. The steel. Go do that. Now I'm making some money. <clears throat> See, that went fast. Episodes of no ruler is bullshit, if you ask me. But I have the guy to send here at 18% a year. And that should jump to my top of my list. Yeah, religious. But if you look here, my revolts are much, much down from where they were. 
spend some money, fix it up. There, I think I've built everything I'm, I needed to, or can build at this point. <laughs> I want some fun. I want some war. Also, it looks like France wants to uh, invade Burgundy and is just waiting for a little... Um, yeah. How's my relationship? Yeah, it's good. I'll fix it up a little bit just in case. I'm just running off my previous reputation, which is not what I wanted to do. And I still have to have my... I only have a rather bad reputation. I wanted a super ugly reputation so people start attacking me. Preferably this blue beast over here. Because they have two of my territories. And maybe this lighter red guy over here, you know, Denmark. Uh, I could do some damage in this area, that's for sure. <laughs> Maybe I'll be nice and um, release Sweden from them. But, probably not, I'm not a nice guy. I steal people's shit and I take no prisoners. That's how I got this empire. Oh man, there we are. Now you can see my full empire from here to here and from here to here it's it's kinda wide and some places aren't connected but I'll fix that don't worry <laughs> that is my ultimate goal to fix everything I broke so yeah this episode that I'm recording right now will turn into a super long epic epic episode that I will post in the next couple of days <laughs> I don't know if it'll be tomorrow or not, we'll see. But, um, that's because I have exams this week and next week. And, uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I've been studying a lot. And... Yay! Finally! Guess what time it is, everybody? It is time to save the game and say goodbye. So that next time I can go to war off screen, you guys don't get to see it? No. You guys get the pleasure of enjoying more war and hate and destruction. They're allied with Denmark and Hungary. Not right now. I want to check. Oops. What happens if I do this? Lithuania, Tyrone, Lüneburg, Oldenburg, and guaranteed by France and Russia. That's too many people. Um, oh, Hungary took one of them out, or no, they took one of them out. If I declare war, nope. I'm gonna go with these guys, um, which means you, North. Um, yeah, I can take that army easy. Uh, that's a fairly large army, but it'll be dead. Um, first, first, first things first. I can't annex them right now, obviously, that's terrible. Um, maybe it's not, not enough time has passed, but... Um, I think now this means that once I get enough, I can do it. Yes, I can. In this war, I should have enough to be able to do it. Once this gets over there... In 1710, the war will start. How about that? Oh, fuck you, Great Britain. Go die. Um, but yeah, I need to pay attention to them Danes over here. So, I will bring you north. What I intend to do is kind of... Just encapsulate this area and make it mine. Then defend myself from Denmark from the north. And, um... Go... Um... East. Okay. So it's time to start the war. Let me save it one last time. 
and let's get this thing on the road and enjoy it for as long as it lasts. I can assure you it will be fun. So, let's do it. Declare war. I do. 